I've loved high heels since I was really young. As I got older, I started to love them less. When I started at SpaceX, I was 30 years old, and by the time I left, I was 35. And so SpaceX is 550,000 square feet of industrial space, all beautiful, clean, shiny white floors. And so when you're walking that factory every day, you know, your relationship with your shoes is a very intimate and personal one. I mean, I really found myself in a position where I had two choices. I could either downgrade my shoes and have uglier shoes, or I could keep wearing my really pretty shoes, but then I would end up with sort of ugly, deformed feet. And it just got to a point where this was an important enough problem in my actual life that I figured, you know, don't complain, do something. In the world of fashion, I don't think an R&D entity actually exists. There is nobody driving innovation in what's a $40 billion a year industry. So we really tried to put together a very diverse group of people and then give them the opportunity to design from a clean sheet of paper. We have an astronaut, we have a rocket scientist, we have an orthopedic surgeon, we have a fashion scientist. Their team is unlike anything anybody in the shoe industry would ever have. The way that they figured out how to make a high heel shoe several centuries ago was to start with a metal plate, put it at an angle, and build a shoe around it. But based on what we could do now, it's actually not the best idea to stand on a metal plate all day. From an engineering and design standpoint, it's a physics problem. What we're doing is we're using advanced polymers instead of metal structures. The benefits of using a, a polymer over a metal shank is with a polymer, you can control the amount of stiffness and strength. This is like a ballistic grade plastic where it's super strong. And the shape also does a lot as it relates to distributing the load of your body across the structure itself. And then everything you see around that is what's called the TPU. It's a thermoplastic urethrin, sort of similar to what tires are made out of. That's really what's most important about our design, and then everything else builds around that. I think it's really important for comfortable and sexy to work together. I think the idea that they've been mutually exclusive is the problem, essentially. There's millions of women for hundreds of years that have been wearing sort of the same crappy internal architecture for a long time. So it sort of takes an outside force to reprioritize and say, actually, we think that consumers will reward this and will think it's important if we create it.